Hello creative designers and welcome on to this story. My name is Peter and on to this story we're just going to see how we can be able to add this compare button to our e-commerce website. The compare button will help the the compare button will help the customer to just compare in between the product and make a decision when to purchase. For instance, customer can come and decide to uh, compare this product, uh, this growth here and this one and also this one. All you just need to do is to just click on this uh, button here and the product will just be added. And on that, customer just need to just click here and this, uh, this form will just pop up. I'll show you how you can be able to customize and change even this color. If you don't really like this one, I'll show you how you can be able to customize it. From there, customer can be able to compare for the prices from here. If the customer can also uh, be able to compare for the availability, the description, the attributes, and uh, the product categories. Customer can be able to categorize on that. We have also the description here. Customer can be able to, uh, to just go through and compare for each product and uh, in between the products. That is the tutorial for today and after that customer and after that customer can be able to add card from this and and we just that customer can just be able to make a decision and be able to purchase the product they need that is the tutorial for today and without further ado let's just get into action and i show you how so the first thing we just need to do is go to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu scroll to where you have the plugin and on offer we have these three options select the second option because we need to install a new plugin after that we just need to search for this free plugin the plugin is called product compare for woocommerce there are so many uh there are so many options that are available but the one we're going to use is from the b rocket you can see it just have a thousand active installation last updated three months ago and it, ha it has uh 13 people have created this plugin with four and a half so we install this plugin and after successful installation we just all you just need to do is we activate the plugin so with that now we have activated the plugin we have this uh we have this call to action uh message here if you want to subscribe to the uh, newsletter you can just click here but i've already done so from there we just need to customize on the dashboard menu we need to have the button for the b rocket so we just need to refresh here and we have the button for the bill rocket so we have the product compare and we have the account key if you have the provision you just want to activate the provision you just select the account key or else on the plugin or else on the plugin dashboard here so come here we have now the setting and just start on click on the setting or else on hopper and select product compare it will just land you to the same same page so from there you can see they have um, you're not going to mind about that so we need to set up uh, all these now we have the general setting we just uh, select we just need to set up all these under the general setting we have the first compare you can just for this one if you just select this one uh, let me just show you how it works here i open in a new tab so we just start now we have the button so if we just add this one and we just click here it will just land it will just load another page but if we just activate this first, first compare button here if we just uh, enable this first compare button and we save the changes and we can we just go back to the shop and uh, we add some more product and we just click here the table will just pop up on the same same page that how that option work it all depend on you how you just want to have it do you want to hide attribute with the same values uh you can just untick this one but what that mean that what that mean that if this product have the same same they have a, a same value in, uh all of them it will just be hidden but if you just want to show if you just want to show them just uh, if you want to hide them just hit uh select this button but if you want to display or hide the attribute just tick this one and it will work for you so from there now we go to clear compare list this uh when you just add this button here and just tick this one and you just save the changes here you just come back to the shop page and 
once customers just select this this product here and they are added to this compare compatible here and the customer just want to delete of them just need just click on this com clear compare and all the product that were on the compare list will be removed so i think that's the essential button to have and where do you want to where which position do you want it on the shop page so you can have it uh after the price after the title before it all or you can disable from there and if you disable from the shop you can add it to the position for the product it all depends on you but i'll have it after the add cut button and i also have this one we have the compare page it will just be created it was created automatically so if you you didn't act with this one uh, first compare and the product we just load to the compare is we just load to this page so it's good to use this one but if you want to have customized page you can just create and select it from here so when you just want to we have now let the remove compare table do you want to remove the compare table if you select this one here let me just select and take this one and i select this one and i show you how it works what that means that is now when you just add the product when you just click here to load let me just load the page here after i just after i have loaded let's just open here you can see now we don't have the compare table here that how that button can affect all of uh all of whatever you had just added so i you don't have to tick this one if you have unticked this one but if you tick this one you can untick this one and you save the changes that how let me show you how it's gonna work for now so we go back to the shop and we select the product we just added and you can have this page that how it can work for that so from there now we go to add this list id you can just uh, sign up with this i'm not going to queue through the step for that but the other thing is full step button on compare page yeah, if you want to have a full screen button on the compare page, you can just select this one. You can apply filter. Yeah, apply filter for program. So if you have this WP query, you can apply some filters. So from there, what are these attributes do you want to, to be compared on this compare table here? You can just select the one you want them to be compared and from there if you don't maybe need a cut button on this compare but uh, on this compare list uh, from here you can just untick from there so what are those things you just want them included in this compare form you can just select them from here so for after that you just save the changes so from there we go to the pop-up template you can see the one we have how it look like you can see the theme you can select the one you have here uh for this uh for this uh for this free version you don't have the option you can be able to create one or you can customize but you can just select either of it and once you've done it you just need to save the changes for instance the one i was using here it had this green background let me just open it you can see it has this green background here so you can just select the one you wish and uh if you're good to work with so from there for you to be able to now to style up you can be able to style from there you can be able to compare button widget you can customize all of them you can take your time you can uh be able to, com to customize the compare button the toolbar button and you can be able to add all of that you have the default color you can change the background color and the background uh with the same attribute you can be able to add them with a different color in the background with a different color you can take your time to check all of these even the compare but uh create compare button you can be able to customize let's do this one and we add a background of something like white like that and on mouse on hofa this on hofa i just want to have a background with black color and the text remain the background I mean like that so let's save there and we go back here and we refresh our page here so once you just click here we have now this one on don't know if you see we have a different color you can even change the background let's change the background here 
and I have text as white and I also have this is black and I have text as white and with that just save the changes with that let's now refresh here so I just need to open the pop-up form here you can see how it looked like on Hofa and not that you can be able now you can see how it look like you can also even apply a CSS to customize your button but it really look good but you can take your time to just uh, change this button all by your time so the other thing is now we have the text now you can change the text or the one that are included or here that come with the button here so like for instance text uh, on compare button you can just say the one like add cut uh, add to compare add to compare button if maybe you want just customize or maybe you want to use any fancy uh, word or whatever you just want to use you can change your word from here so we have compare and you can see whatever it is but like 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 that and you just save the changes when you just come here and you refresh let me just clear my form here and you can see now we have like like you can be able to customize all those word and whenever you just open a product you see it has even this word you can be able to customize it from here you can take your time you do your research and you come up with good fans of word that will help uh that will be a pain to the customer or the audience you are targeting so from there now we have the custom css you can be able to include some javascript and uh, css for that if you have that you can you just include it if you have a license if you have a premium version you can just include your key and you just save the changes and uh we have now if you want to if you get errors and all that you can be able to sort them from here so that's how you can be able to add compare button to your website to your that that's how you can be able to add a compare button to your e-commerce website or for free without using a premium or without using the money but if you have any other option or any other comment you just if you have any question or comment just leave it on the comment section i'll get back to you until next time thank you